<laughs> I forgot highlighter. How do you forget highlighter? Whew, I don't know. I forgot it. Smashbox plus Vlada. Come for the review, stay for the video. All right, y'all, so today I used the Kat Von D Fetish palette, and this is look number two. The first look I did was with purples over here, so I'll insert the picture here. And then today I wanted to use this area here with the greens and a bit of suspension. Oh, and fixation. I did use a little bit of cuffs on the inside just to brighten it a little bit. That's the next look, or that's today's look that I'm doing the video on. I will try to get the blue and yellows and brown copper colors done in another video, if I, not in another video and another eye look, which I'll insert here. And then we can look at doing the pinks and the red, and I'll look at inserting it here. Overall, what have I, out of the colors that I've used, what do I think? I think I really like the pigmentation. It goes, like this green, you're going to see, it just, boom, it goes on. It's got pigmentation. It's not like you have to build it. It immediately looks like it does in the pan. I love, love, love companies that when they give you something like this and you go to put it on, that it looks like it does in the pan. Hallelujah, the clouds part the sun ray comes down. There's so many companies that put out palettes that we, when we're looking at them, we're like, I love that color. I have to have that color. So we go by the palette, we go to put it on, and it's like, huh? Where'd it go? Like it was, it's in the palette. I actually had one of the Huda palettes that I used a red, and so I'm picking up the red and I'm swirling it around. And I was like, did I not get any on my brush? Where is it? So, I mean, I really had to dig into the red to get it to work. So I'm hoping this red is not like that, but I love this combination right here. It's just yummy! And maybe with a bit of this color here. I just, I really enjoyed this palette. I actually bought it on sale at Ulta. I like Kat Von D's products. She usually does a jam up job. And, you know, these colors are darker. They're probably not for everyone because when I, you first look at the palette, you're like, wow, that's a lot of dark, intense color. And so that can be a little bit scary for people. I know it, it, I would have never bought this palette two years ago because I would have been absolutely overwhelmed and just absolutely like, what do I do with it? And, you know, now over the last two years I've been playing with makeup, it doesn't scare me as bad, but I would have never purchased this palette prior to two, two and a half years ago. It would have scared me too bad. But that's where I, I, I'm trying to bring hope. These colors really go on very, very nice. I know when you first start watching the video on how I do the greens, you, it's like, oh my God, this is going to be horrible. And I think that's what scares people about dark colors or bright colors or just colors in general is they'll start putting it on their eye and they immediately think this is horrible I can't go on you got to keep going on you finish your eye look with your eyeliner and your eyelashes and you will find that you have most of the time a beautiful eye so I encourage you to get outside your comfort zone try something random but don't stop doing your eye till you get your mascara your eyelashes your eyeliner on because i think you'll you'll find that oh my god it's not as bad as i thought use this video as kind of one of those videos that you think you think about when you want to try something new because when you go step by step with me i mean there's a couple times you're probably going to go what the heck now you may not like this eye look at, at anyways which is okay too but I really think that if you watch the video and you see how I started with this color here, 
how scary that can be and then you work your way up until it's finished just my thoughts just my thoughts again i really like this palette i've been playing with colors on my hand and that's where i figured out this green would look actually good over this green and that seemed kind of strange for me there's another way for you to play with colors is if you take and you do swatches on your hands and you layer it on your hands you kind of start seeing okay these colors do work together my suggestion is to use the top of your hand and play with colors if you're too afraid to do it on your eye just to see does these overlap well do they work together well etc and these really did I would have never thought these two colors would have worked well together and I would have never used them together had I not put, put played with some swatches on my hands. So there's another way for you to look at playing with colors that might be too dark, too bright, too, oh my God, I'm scared to death. So I hope that helps you. If you want to stay and watch this green eye come to fruition, as I was scared myself a few times, going, oh my gosh, this color is wow intense. All right, today we're going to use Kat Von D's Fetish Palette. And I was playing around with some of the greens last night, so I think we're going to do greens. Le Petit Mot is what we're going to start out with here. Great pigmentation. Great pigmentation. I'm going to grab this color here called Naughty. Mix it with a little fixation. Building up now the outer C, I'm going to pick up some suspension. Grabbing that flat brush we used earlier, we're going to pick up some Shibari. I'm going to use my finger. All right, we're going to pick up some Marc Jacobs Brownie. I also had already done my waterline with Kat Von D's Lash Liner because I figured if my eyes were going to be a little bit problematic, I wanted it to, if they were going to run, because putting something on the waterline was going to agitate it. I wanted to go ahead and do that. And it, it hasn't done too bad. So can't complain. Now we're going to go back in with that round brush. Pick up some suspension. And set that eyeliner. And then I kind of, when I bring the eyeliner up, I kind of move it into the C or your outer V to kind of make it whole so that it's more seamless. Taking a baby wipe and just kind of going to go right along the edge to pick up any any craziness. I think I want to try this color here called Cuffs, which is a silver. Taking my blending brush, I'm just going to kind of go over everything. Because the eye really is pretty over the top dramatic, I want to make sure that I do wear eyelashes today. Definitely need some eyelashes today. We're going to use some Black is Black Lacquer Liner from, it's a 24 hour infallible from L'Oreal. All right, the eye looks coming together where it's not as scary once you get eyelashes on. We're going to use the Graceful Eyelashes from Makeup Geek. All right, we're going to let those sit a moment and then put on a final touch of mascara. So compared to what this started like, I'm curious to see what you think about the ending. Because, yeah, when I first put on that green, I know probably a few of you went, ooh, because I know I went, ooh. It was so bright and so pigmented, but I think that's what made it nice as a good base to put the greenish color that had some iridescence in it over the top so you got a really strong green eyelid. I think after all once I got the eyelashes on I really like how dramatic it is. This actually might be a good look for Halloween. I'm just saying. 
it's not Halloween. We're like 10 months away from Halloween. Uh, I probably will forget this eye look by then, but this could be a good eye look for something for Halloween. Just saying. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please put your comments, thoughts, questions below. I'd love to interact and I hope you have a great day. Make it one. Can't rely on everyone else to do it for us, right? So we got to do it ourselves. Until next time. Thank you so much for watching this video on the Kat Von D Fetish Eye Palette. Really like this palette. I've enjoyed it so far and I hope you really enjoyed the video. Please leave your thoughts, comments, questions below as I like to interact with y'all. And I hope you have a great one. Until next time.